Welcome to our lesson about using virtual components. Let's begin with a new assembly. Now let's insert component A. I'm going to insert a second component now, component B. And let's apply mates. OK, and cancel out of the tool. Component B is an external component. To make it an internal component, we can right-click on it and select Make Virtual. SolidWorks gives us a warning. Making a component virtual breaks the link to the external file. Do we want to continue? Yes, let's click OK. To rename this component, you can give it a slow double-click. Notice you can only rename the component itself, but not the assembly, since this component is part of this assembly. Another way to create virtual components is to go to Insert, Component, New Part. And I'll select this face. We're in Sketch Mode. Now let's Convert Entities. Select this edge, OK, and Cancel Out. Let's exit the sketch. Go to the Features tab, 2mm Extrusion, Accept. Now we have our second virtual component. Let's exit Part Editing Mode. Click on Insert Components. Now I'm going to select Component C, and let's scroll down to Options. Let's check this option, Make Virtual. And let's drop it about here. SolidWorks gives us the same warning, making a component virtual breaks the link to the external file. Do you want to continue? Yes, we do. Let's click OK. And let's apply mates. Accept and cancel out of the tool. Now I'm going to save this assembly. Let's select Save All. We'll accept the default name and click Save. Now we have the option to save the virtual components internally, inside the assembly, or externally. And if we do so, we specify paths. We select a component and we can click on Internal to Assembly, or Same as Assembly. For this example, I'm going to save internally inside the assembly and click OK. Now to make the component external again, just right-click on it and select Save Part in External File. The Save As dialog window opens. Let's cancel out of it for now. And this concludes our lesson on virtual components.